Hey, what's going on there, folks? Good morning, good afternoon. It is the Earth Master back here on this Wednesday, August 23rd, 2023, 11.38 a.m. California time. And a latest earthquake here on the globe. Looks like a, uh, well, we've got a 5.5 down here in the South Sandwich Islands area. Just coming in to the uh, Earthquake 3D globe. This follows some movement up into the South America region earlier. Pretty deep 6.2 earthquake here into the area of Argentina, but well underneath here into the subduction zone, almost 600 kilometers deep, goodness. So uh, that's some, some good size earthquake activity and pretty deep at that, um, really deep one. So we'll continue to watch uh, with that type of movement here. Definitely in the Chile area, uh, looks like EMSC reporting I don't know. I'm really tempted to get rid of this EMSC data again. It's just all over the place. Uh, just a clutter of earthquake movement. And for some reason there, we're seeing too many ones on the globe. That's, we'll start off with that. A little bit less cluttered. Um, either way, we'll watch this area of Chile. It looks like we are getting some adjustment though going down on the southern area of the, of the uh, South America plate here. Let's check out the plate dynamics in this region. Uh, Across the Scotia Plate, South America Plate, where the subduction zone of the South Sandwich Trench sits. Uh, that's where we're seeing that five-pointer kick up right now. Uh, it looks as though that strain may have transferred a little bit across the uh, areas down south here. A deeper movement quake in the Argentina area. So uh, either way, we'll definitely watch the South America region, not only um, around the areas of the uh, plate boundaries but also upstream here where the subduction zone sits uh, for the most part that's where this the, the uh, most accumulated strain tends to build up uh, again there's that 5.5 south sandwich trench looks like there was only one i don't know why there's two on the globe see that's unfortunate when we're looking at two different agencies on the globe one may say the other magnitude and one may have another so that's why it looks like it's duplicates out here, but that's that's one of the downfalls of having two agencies out here. Unless they're in agreement with each other. Anyway, I'll work on this a little bit later, fix that up. All right, what else we got here? Uh, aside from that 6.2 in Argentina, let's take a look at the states here. Been pretty active over the last couple days here across the Southern Plains, areas of the New Madrid seismic zone as well. Today, not a whole lot going on there. Um, just some scattered small earthquake activity, including that four-pointer from yesterday there outside of Pecos, Texas. Up into the Yellowstone area, seen a handful of smaller quakes up here through Idaho and northern Washington, or uh, northwestern Wyoming. Uh, I did check out the Yellowstone overview here. Let me refresh this. I think this is from, um, well, it looks like it's, That's a little weird. Um, <clears throat> let's see, is this today's activity? 23rd, that's the 22nd. So right now, not for sure why, that was kind of weird, all right. There's that uh, data blackout. I noticed yesterday when I was doing the update, uh, they were lacking data for some reason here. A good chunk of time was missing, uh, but we do have, and that, that was only on a couple stations out here, but we do have the data across uh, the majority here in Yellowstone. Uh, maybe a couple smaller quakes locally or nearby, but um, looks like something kicking up here in the last hour or two as well. Uh, let's see here. There's the... Uh, I'm looking for the signature of the 6.2. I'm guessing that's going to be it right about here. Uh, an S wave roughly at uh looks like just before 1500 utc time so 1430 i'm guessing is when that uh kicked off let me du double check and verify that uh utc time yep just before four, uh, 1500 roughly about 1430 so that is the 6.2 that we're seeing showing up here on the uh yeah i got way too many windows open it's like a monday like every day this week is a Monday and not even joking when you when you start school and you and you got a bunch of stuff on your plate every day for or at least for the first couple weeks is a Monday it'll get better I'm sure all right let's move on 
Pacific Northwest here, a little bit of activity in Mount Rainier yesterday. They had a 2.7. Doesn't look like anything else has popped up here since then, but that was outside the uh, uh, crater or the summit area of Mount Rainier. Occasionally they do get swarms, uh, but it's been, uh, it's been somewhat quiet. A little bit of activity here, Northern California, a couple smaller quakes there, 1.9 and a 1.8 today after midnight. Uh, the rest of California here, a little spotty as we look through the Bay Area. Actually, just got one popping up right now. Uh, Santa Vinet Venetia, is that right? Venita? <clears throat> got to brush up on my Spanish. 1.6 at 1.6 kilometers deep. Goodness, what's up? Some movement down on the creeping segment of the San Andreas Fault here. A little bit of activity in Nevada. As far as Southern California goes, let's check it out and see what we got here. Maybe a little migration going on uh, with this earthquake swarm. We're still seeing some movement after midnight, although it's been tapered off here slightly. Um, checking out these two earthquakes here. Just after midnight, 1.9 and a smaller quake up here north of the swarming area. Uh, right now, that's not really a a major migration of movement but we'll continue to watch this area uh, in southern california down here across the uh extreme southern california some movement here in the san jacinto fault zone i uh, seen a little bit of activity up and down the board i'm not really seeing any major increase in movement following all this rainfall but again sometimes it does take a little while to uh you know soak down into the ground and find its way into the faults there where it could uh, you know ultimately provide a little bit of lubrication to get these faults moving in southern california we'll continue to watch that though little bit of activity just off the brawley seismic zone uh looks like earlier this morning had a 1.4 and a couple other smaller quakes here near the salt and sea nothing no major swarm no major movement yet on the san andreas fault but we'll continue to watch that the Alaska area, slightly active up here across the Aleutian Trench, but overall things look, uh, yeah. Trying to think some of this activity is from yesterday. No major move, but just a handful of uh, ones and twos out there across the area in the last 24. The big island of Hawaii. Let's see what we got. Pahala lighting up pretty uh, nicely down here on the southeastern flank of the uh, Mauna Loa area. Well, this is well deep though. This is 30, 35 kilometers deep or so. Okay, Kilauea Volcano. Looks like a pretty good swarm this morning. Uh, much more activity than what we've seen last night. Looks like uh, some magma movement on the rise there. Let's go ahead and check out the um, hazard notification system from the USGS. Kilauea daily update that was put out yesterday so we'll have to wait till later to see if anything kicks up but yesterday's update here stated that uh, it is not erupting let's go ahead and check out a couple webcams from that area see or uh see what we got going on here at the Kilauea volcano of course imagery right is a uh and we'll check out the um rest of the stuff here in a minute i just want to see what's going on with the cameras out here just get a little bit better view of the area and there's a, i think their live stream is still up on youtube i'm not for sure or not but uh, if it is it is if it's not it's not looks like a little bit of uh <clears throat> haze going on out there let me check a different uh camera area observation tower i can't tell if that's looks like it's some type of low fog or clouds going on up there we would see i think we would see um some steam rising up or smoke from that area if uh it was active kind of hard to tell definitely looks like maybe an overcast day there i man goodness from the observation tower it looks that way uh, so we'll continue to watch that the tilt meters out here uh, GPS tilt meters 
did they get this one back up? Yes, they did. Thank you. The UWE station is back up. This is normally the one I monitor uh, for recent changes in the past couple hours and days. And, and then this one here is the past two, uh, a little bit more than the past two days, the past month or so. Uh, but I like the um, the option of seeing recent data in the last couple hours. This gives us a good indicator of what's going on below the surface. Notice a drastic rise here. This is inflation there at Kilauea Volcano. And that was associated with the earthquake activity that we've seen earlier this morning. Look at this. Uh, quite a bit of earthquake activity here. Roughly around, looks like the 10, 9, 9 to 10 o'clock time frame. Maybe a little bit sooner, 8, 9, 10. Actually, it looks like for a couple hours there was uh, definitely going. And uh, that depth there, roughly around 1 to 2 kilometers below the surface, tells me that uh, things are uh, brewing below the surface. Look at that sharp rise here. So we'll continue to watch the Kilauea Volcano. Thank you very much for adding that uh, station back on there, USGS. It's of great resources there to watch that data. Okay, for the seismic stations here, see if some of these are working. Some are still offline. I get it. Can't get everything going though, right? There's the tilt meter again. Get rid of that. That station's not working. <clears throat> I wish some of these were because, well, most of the activity is on the south, uh, southern area of the crater. That's where we'll see all this earthquake activity. And there's quite a bit here, folks. Uh, more so in the last, like I mentioned, in the last four to five hours is when we've seen a pretty good uptick in earthquake activity here. And, um, you know, just because it stopped there on the map, on the USGS map, does not mean it's technically stopped. Um, let me look at that again. Where'd those go? Yeah, even in the last couple hours, it's we've had some earthquake activity, at least looking at uh, on this map here in the last few minutes as well. See that right here? A couple other ones in the last half hour. So I am not for sure why uh, they're saying the last earthquake was over an hour ago. You can see that 2.7 at 1043 local time, my time here in California. And uh, we see we definitely see some further earthquake activity following that timestamp, which was an hour ago. So we'll watch that. I think things are uh, really kicking up here. We'll continue to watch and monitor and report back on the Kilauea Volcano. All right. What we've got over here off the coast of uh, North Korea area, it looks like. Off the coast of China. Or this is on land, I believe, here. 4.7 earlier this morning. It looks like uh, about 10 kilometers deep for that earthquake. And the Kurokamachaka, Japan Trench, pretty quiet as well. Down here across the Mariana Islands, we got a 4.7 near Guam late last night. Uh, 34 kilometers deep. Outside of Manila, Philippines area, 4.8. This earthquake coming in just this morning, about an hour or so ago. Uh, so a little bit of activity stirring up out there across the Filipino plate. That's going to be this area right here. Uh, aside from that, mostly smaller microquakes, which is expected and uh, a common occurrence in a major plate boundary such as the uh, Java Trench and areas around the Banda Sea. Still got a quiet zone out here across the Papua New Guinea area eastward through Solomon Islands and Vanuatu. So we'll continue to watch that. That's got to fill in here soon. Um, this area doesn't stay quiet all that often. Down in New Zealand... Let's check that out real quick, see what's going on there across the New Zealand area. 2.8 uh, outside of Wellington, it looks like. 15 kilometers southeast of the Upper Hut area, it looks like, on the map. 15 kilometers deep, uh, 2.9, a little bit further up the coast. 3.9, 2.5, goodness, what's going on there today? Looks like uh, some activity stirring up. Mainly around the uh, North Island area. Let's see what we got for the earthquake drums. <coughs> There's some of that activity showing up. Uh, North Island Station, a couple of those mentioned earthquakes here on the earthquake uh, drum showing up. More so locally on this station here uh, near this river. As uh, far as any broad scale, large scale movement, that's holding off for now. Uh, best just be prepared uh, for some further earthquake activity in that region. 
There's our deeper movement from yesterday. Looks like we did see another super deep earthquake here in the Tonga Trench, almost 600 kilometers deep there, uh, just after midnight. Trail of deep movement. Obviously, we're gaining some steam and momentum here across this plate boundary. The general plate dynamics here in this area tells us that. Here's the Pacific plate. Here's the area of interest, the Tonga Trench, Fiji right out here. Um, yeah, northwestward pressure movement here, getting all that deeper activity, adding strain in our quiet zone. So expect that to fill in. Here's our, our quiet zone, so to speak. Papua New Guinea right here near the hand, back over around this dip right here where Vanuatu is. So we'll continue to watch that throughout the day today for some movement. I'm sure it's going to happen today for sure. Uh, some activity across the Bismarck Sea area, 4.3, uh, about 3 o'clock in the morning. Some deeper activity taking place there. All right, uh, out here in northern Iran, or this is yeah, outside of northern Iran, seen a uh, 4.8 yesterday. Today, 4.3 in eastern Turkey. Uh, let's check out the Earthquake 3D globe here and see what we have. Uh, it looks a little bit less active, though, compared to days past, where we normally see a huge cluster of movement. But it looks like, to me, some of that activity is working its way eastward. Uh, most of our swarming area has been confined, it seems like around this area, but it looks like we're starting to get some eastward movement going on across the, uh, the uh, plate boundary here, we're trying to work its way across this area. Uh, not a whole lot going on through the Mediterranean today. Iceland got a 2.9. There's our activity in the South Sandwich Trench. Uh, 2.0 just coming in to California, looks like. See where that's at. Looks like the Ridgecrest area, north of there. 2.0 near Coastal Junction, about 4.3 kilometers deep. I do have quite a few stations out there, folks, that are monitoring earthquake activity. Uh, here's our movement in Hawaii, very close to the uh, Kilauea Volcano. Uh, I, you know, there's definitely some earthquake activity that's taken place there. Why they put a pause on the reporting of it, I don't know. But uh, it's shown up on the live seismographs. It's shown up on the recorded data as well. So just know that earthquake activity hasn't stopped there on the big island of Hawaii. Looks like they finally reported one, 2.3 down in Pahala. But there's still definitely some movement happening up here across Kilauea Volcano. All right, uh, let's see what else we got. Space weather. Um, anything major going on since yesterday's minor M flare? Kind of a neat looking explosion there. Uh, it looks like the updated coronagraph imagery shows that an earth directed CME is not associated with this event. An impact to Earth's geomagnetic field is not expected. This was positioned pretty far out here on the uh, western area of the sun. So, unfortunately, no uh, expected arrival of any type of aurora producing CME so unfortunately that's been the case here recently let's see what we got coming around the bin I don't think there's too much but 3413 is looking pretty dynamic here it is growing in fact a couple of these sunspots look a lot more active than what the entire disc has over the past week or so so we do have two new active regions here that are growing they are not dying these are definitely growing and getting more complex with all these different magnetic structures within the cores and surrounding cores so we'll watch this in the days ahead uh, for some future flaring maybe we'll get some uh, more larger M flares and hopefully the timing will be just right here as these um, continue to uh, travel or at least center themselves here across the earth facing side of the sun. This one's kind of lined up perfectly once it gets over here. So either way, hopefully these uh, will be on timing far as giving us maybe a nice CME. So we can get some auroras up there at the higher latitudes, maybe the mid latitudes as well. It's been a little while. No major coronal holes are facing us. So things are going to stay quiet until we get uh, some activity stirring up here across the... Uh, uh, the sunspots right now not a whole lot of activity for uh, the aurora forecast overall threat though for the uh, flare activity 90 percent chance for c flare m flare at 10 x flare one percent i'm sure these are going to be upgraded here soon 
uh, with these with the arrival of these uh, two new sunspots, 3413 and 3415 over here, showing some complex structure and growth, uh, definitely within the last 12 hours. All right, Storm Prediction Center here. <clears throat> I tell you what, sometimes it's uh, not for sure what's going on. Are we still live? I'm going to close that window. It's a little scary when windows freeze up like that. Makes me think there's someone on the other side that's not uh, not too friendly. Why is our storm prediction center not working? There we go. That's a little weird. You guys see that? That's why I like doing these live updates so you can see some of the, the fishy stuff that goes on. I got well over a gigabyte speed on my internet and uh, have no issues with streaming and running multiple plat multiple uh, devices on that at the same time. It never slows down. But uh, that was a hang-up. That was kind of odd. All right, moving on here to the slight risk category across portions, uh, looks like around the Great Lakes and up into the uh, North Dakota area. Not really uh, looking at anything further south. In fact, this area is just kind of cooking out here. Uh, but for the risk, got a 2% chance for tornado probability there in the green. Detroit, Michigan, and one of those. Uh, looks like the main threat today, and it's just very minimal. Only about 15% chance of uh, wind and hail events in these areas. So, again, nothing major going on. And, uh, of course, the next couple days look fairly minimal for severe weather. At least here in the states uh, the numerical models here well let's double check and see if we got any hurricanes to worry about venturing into the uh, there's a what's left of uh, oh I forgot the name already but that tropical disturbance here that hit Texas yesterday and last night is moving off pretty quickly here to the four corners area I'm gonna provide those folks with some more rain beneficial rain I think those guys get more rain in California sometimes there's a hurricane spinning off here in the Atlantic that is going to be controlled by the dynamics in the upper atmosphere. I'm going to scoot this thing away from the states, out back to the Atlantic Ocean. And uh, really not seeing anything major developing in the Gulf of Mexico for now. Of course, this is all subject to change, but as far as the long-term models go, we're just not seeing anything coming in, which is good news for the folks down there in the Gulf states. And same for the Atlantic out here. It's just uh, pretty quiet. Alrighty, folks, I gotta get busy. Got uh, another busy day ahead of me. And um, I guess we'll catch you guys back here a little bit later tonight, unless something major happens. Have a good day and uh, stay safe out there. <laughs>